All right, back for round one. Um, so this hand is interesting because we do have a, like a removal spell for whatever he plays first and a three drop, but the three drop is currently uncastable. So, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I feel like we can get there. We're on the draw, so maybe we draw some kind of like, I don't know, another creature to play or something. I'll keep it because of the Victim of Night, but I'm really not sure about this hand. It's pretty borderline. If we draw another land, we can also kill something else, which seems fine. All right, I guess that's a decent start. I can play that. Doesn't really do anything at the moment because again, I can't play anything. <clears throat> Hopefully, play something that mills me. That'd be pretty sweet. Red green, huh? Cool. <clears throat> I'm basically just luck sacking here. Don't mind me. So technically next turn we could kill something with the Blazing Torch as well, but that's not the plan, of course. <clears throat> We're just going to get in. Ooh, and we drew something else to play. I'm just getting luckier and luckier, aren't I? <clears throat> Even if he kills us, I don't care, because I have the Headless Scab. So I can pretty much just attack with this Walking Corpse every time. Seems pretty sweet. Hopefully we draw our uh, Diagraph Captain here. You're up, senor. What do we got? Ambush Viper. Okay, so he didn't want to trade off with my guy. I forgot this was in the format, but I'll have to keep that in mind next next game as well. What do we got? Sack a creature, two damage, target creature player. Yeah, I have a feeling that's going to get death caressed right now. <clears throat> well, we can't actually do that at the moment, but... Yep, he's going to leave his guys back. I'm just going to crash. If he blocks, well, obviously, if he blocks the zombie, I can't take advantage of it, but um, he doesn't have any vampires or zombies, so he can't really take advantage of this either. I um, <clears throat> guess I just play my land. Um, Non-vampire, werewolf, or zombie. That is none of those. I'll go ahead and attack. Run a pretty good beatdown plan here. Um... Don't have enough to flash that back yet. I think I just want to kill that thing now. Because that's going to get annoying. <clears throat> we still have Death's Crest back. And if he plays a vampire or a zombie or werewolf next turn, like a Huntmaster or something, it could have been a problem. So I guess it's a good thing we didn't wait on Death's Crest. Uh, let's see what this is. Um, that thing's pretty big. <clears throat> We're just going to go ahead and kill that, I think. Oh, it didn't have Morbid either. So, actually, we could play our Diagraph Captain plus equip, like, one of these. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, lots of options here. Let's see. Alternatively, I could flashback my Reap the Sea Graph, but then I wouldn't be able to attack because my zombies would both be 2-2s two into his 3-3. Three three. So yeah, I'll go ahead and play my captain, I think, and just continue on the beatdown plan. <clears throat> I'll also equip up my captain, because I guess I have the mana. I'm not really holding anything up. I don't think I can even represent anything with blue-black in this set. <clears throat> I also can't use the captain at the moment, but I'm not really planning on attacking with him anytime soon anyway. <clears throat> <clears throat> Interesting, he's getting in. So we could actually just win if he plays a fatty here. But I have a feeling he's going to play some kind of removal. Well, yeah, he obviously... He's holding rebuke, I'm almost sure of it. <clears throat> um, or another ambush viper, I guess. So I'm going to hold back my captain, <clears throat> both because I don't want him to die, and I could kill an ambush viper if he plays it. And if one of my guys dies, I can headless scab as well. Well, I guess not if the token dies, but yeah, we're in very good shape here, I think. Let's see what he's got. Rebuke. Yep. Lose a life. Wait, what's this? <clears throat> oh, interesting. All right, well, he still loses two. Um, 
Yeah, I'm just going to play my headless scab now, I think. Um, I could also flash this back. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, this deals two to players, too. Um, so I think I'm dead on board if I do it this way. <clears throat> I mean, he's not dead on board, obviously. He can hold back a guy to block. But if he only holds back one guy, then I can get in for lethal. Oh, he only has two cards in hand. Yeah, only getting in with one guy. Oh, both guys. Hopefully he taps out for fatty, then he's definitely dead. <clears throat> Possibly just more removal. Hmm, what's this? Five. Yeah, he's dead. Unless he's holding a... Well, yeah, I don't think there's anything for one red that could do it. <clears throat> and attack for six. Alright, good stuff. Um, so against red, green, removal, didn't see any vampires I have to worry about. <clears throat> Don't think I really need to bring anything in, actually. Headless scab is actually much worse than I thought on turn three, so I'm glad I cut the other one. Um, I could dissipate, like, a big dude, but I didn't see any bombs I have to worry about, so I think I'm just going to go with this. Uh, on the draw again, this hand is fine if we draw land we got a defensive guy plus if we draw swamp we can victim of night something so he didn't look like he had a particularly fast deck more like just red green good stuff <clears throat> alright not the best draw nice thing is like even though the set doesn't have any gates which is not great if you're splashing colors all my lands come in untapped which is good alright not good we need to draw land now. Didn't have an ambush viper. Probably just gonna hold it as a removal spell now that I think about it. That's probably the best use for it anyway. Oof. Yeah, now we really want... To... Oh, shoot. That is haste, too. Now we need a land. And our victim knight can't kill it. Thank god. So now these can bounce off each other, which is fine. Screeching Scab and Headless Scab. Alright. So hopefully we get to play a uh, Juggernaut next turn, but otherwise we can just play a Reap the Seagraph. Oh, dang. Alright, so now his guy becomes lethal if I try to block it. <clears throat> well, fine. I guess we are bringing in the, uh, the Vampire Hate, the Wooden Stake, or whatever it's called. Um, I could also play a Mona of the Unhallowed to trade with his Ripper, which could be fine. Alright, well we don't have that option anymore. I'm just going to play Reap the Seagraph and attempt to double block his Ripper next turn. Yep, so if I just draw land for the rest of the game, I'll actually be okay with that. So we have lots of goodies back here. Alright, well he hesitated. I guess he could be holding a brimstone volley. But I still have to attempt it, because I can't let that thing get any bigger. At the very least, he doesn't get a counter. Alright, he's ordering this guy first. Okay, success. And now we have another guy to trade with his guy, which is pretty good. We get a land, so things are turning up Millhouse. I'm just going to go ahead and crash. Because I'm not too worried about dying to a 3 2 with no other abilities. <clears throat> Juggernaut seems so sweet. Especially when we're holding removal spells in our hand. And I will block here if he tries to represent some kind of trick. <laughs> 
If he tries to ambush Viper me, I can victim of night before uh, blockers. All right, didn't get a land, but we did. We are able to play this and victim of night, so I'm just gonna crash. And if nothing else happens, I'll just play my Mona the Unhallowed. All right, yeah, we're just gonna kill that now. <clears throat> and this guy untaps. He's complaining in the chat. <laughs> he said, way to be a luck sack. And I, I just said I was a luck sack earlier in this, so I guess I can't argue with him. I don't know why he thought it was a luck sack to have the removal for the Viper. Maybe he didn't realize that victim, I was holding Victim of Night and I couldn't hit either of his other two creatures. So I am I have a feeling that most of the people in this draft are just not... I'm certainly not blocking that thing. <clears throat> most of the people in this draft are just not familiar with the set. What do we got? Something big? <clears throat> All right, so let's get a land here. Hmm. So we can, let's see. I think we just crash. I guess I'll play my noble first. Yeah, it seems fine. <clears throat> uh, don't get to attack with my zombie. Um, or do I? He'd be going down to six if he blocked the zombie. <clears throat> Actually, five, because he loses a life and this thing untaps, so... Yeah, whatever. I don't really need this zombie. I have more to replace it later. <clears throat> That's fine. You... Yeah, you lose a life. <clears throat> yep, that worked out well. So now if I draw land, I get to Death's Caress and potentially just win. <clears throat> If he attacks, let's see, he could Wild Hunger, which gives plus three, plus one, and Trample. But he'd only do it once, <clears throat> so I'd be taking eight if he did that. Plus Brimstone Volley gets me to, what, two? So I survive. Well, he's playing something pre-combat. Possibly removal. <clears throat> I didn't leave up mana to, to use this, but that's okay. Even if I get land, I'm just going to be tapping out pretty much every turn. Not sure why he played that pre-combat. Probably just going to leave his guys back. Seems fair. Land. Sweet. <clears throat> Alright, so I'll, I'll just crash. If he tries to like double block the Juggernaut, I can Death's Caress. Um, yeah, seems fine. He doesn't have any flyers. Oh, he does have a Reach guy. Um, interesting. So... <clears throat> yeah, I'll attack with a noble, I guess. He can double block this thing if he wants, and then I can kill the Summerwald Spider. Um, yeah, I feel like this is going to work out in our favor. If he doesn't, he, he doesn't ever rebuke mana up, that's for sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I'm trading with his entire board, basically, and then I'm left with a Disciple and a uh, uh, an Aristocrat. So I'm just going to... If it lets me. Um, oops, cancel. Not sure what's going on. It's not letting me cast my spells. Maybe I need to move on past the... Uh, here, I'll put a stop here. Sorry, not sure what's going on here. Um, Alright, that's not cool. All right, so it's possible I just win here. No, I get him down to one, but that's fine. I get to untap my Juggernaut twice. Yeah, that was strange. Oh, that's because Death's Caress is a sorcery. I didn't even realize. My bad. I was wondering what was going on there. <clears throat> so actually, I do just win here, because I get to play a Blazing Torch equip and then kill him. Oh, 
Oh, still in combat damage step. Sorry, this is what happens when you don't play with a set for a while. <clears throat> and kill you. Yeah, he's saying way to luck out, and I'm just, I'm just lashing out at him now. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and argue with this guy, and uh, let you not wait for me, and we'll come back for round two. <clears throat> 